let's say all that was ran approximately within the three-point line in which we have good range, we have shooters that can do those things. Now our next part is, let's say Clayton's kind of up a little bit. And Clayton's a good driver. He can get to the basket. We can then make a pass here and then take away vision. And I'm going to come and I'm going to set a ball screen. Now on this ball screen, there's two things that this L guy can do. He can either stay right there and read it's a ball screen because I have my, my signal and he's then going to go back to the perimeter because he can get involved in this and it probably wouldn't be a good single ball screen because his guy's right there. So we can have a ball screen. Now when we set ball screens, a great way to do it, Tony defended that very well, a great way to do it is to rim run, is what they call in the NBA. So I set this screen here. Instead of doing the normal, he comes off of it, I try and roll and maybe even pin a little bit here. That's a little too slow, except for if you're doing those handoffs, it's an easy automatic seal and read like you guys saw. So what I'm going to do is rim run. Is I set the ball screen here, and I'm going to do a little tap, and I'm going right to the basket as hard as I can. That forces the defense to have to make a major decision right off the bat. Am I going to make a hard cut? Am I going to stay with him? Am I going to stay on the ball? And so on and so forth. So that's another option that can come off of this going to the basketball. Go ahead and do that. And ball screen. Roll. Nice. Nice. Nice.